Let us understand various events associated with sun, earth and moon with the help of a model. Model is built with small balls, beads and lots of gears. Let us assume that we are way up in the sky and observing these objects from a pole star. As you know, Earth revolves around the sun, not in clockwise direction but in anti-clockwise direction. During this journey around the sun, it also rotates around its own axis. This axis is not straight, but slightly tilted at an angle of 23.5 degrees, like this. This tilt is the reason we have seasons on earth. Just like its revolution around the sun, earth also rotates in anti-clockwise direction around itself. One complete rotation around itself takes 24 hours, while one complete revolution around the sun is finished in 365 days or one year. Let us take help of this dial so that position of earth can be referenced as it revolves around the sun. There are numerous stars around our solar system. These stars were grouped by our ancestors for easier identification, also known as constellations. There are many, but 12 are most important. These 12 constellations mark out the path that sun appears to take throughout the year, mostly known to us as zodiac signs. This circle is divided into 12 equal parts, one part per zodiac sign. This outer ring has months marked on it as per Gregorian calendar. This will be useful when we discuss seasons. Zodiac signs are arranged like this, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer and so on and the months January, February, March, April and so on. Let us move earth by hand in steps. That way we can study orientation of axis as earth revolves around the sun. Front view is better for this instead of top view. Let us start with 21st June. This imaginary line represents equator. It divides Earth in two equal parts, Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere. 21st June is the longest day in Northern Hemisphere. North Pole is at its nearest point towards the Sun on this day. This is the reason Northern Hemisphere gets more sunlight. Longest day and shortest night. Exactly opposite situation is there in the southern hemisphere. Longest night and shortest day on this particular day. It is also known as summer solstice. 22nd September. On this day, sun is exactly above the equator. Which makes the day and night of equal length marking the start of autumn. Northern as well as southern hemispheres get the same amount of rays. Twenty-second December On this day, 
North Pole is farther from the sun. Northern hemisphere receives less sunlight. Days are shorter and nights longer. Exactly opposite situation is there in the southern hemisphere. Days are longer and nights shorter. It's also known as winter solstice. 21st March Earth's two hemispheres are receiving the same amount of sunlight. Night and day are often said to be equal in length. This day is also known as spring equinox or vernal equinox. Sun rises southward every day starting 21st June till 21st December in northern hemisphere. And it starts its return journey that is towards north again from 22nd December. This small plastic bead is our moon. While the moon revolves around earth, moon and the earth revolve around the sun. It takes approximately 27.3 days for moon to complete one revolution around the earth. But the earth is also moving constantly. That is the reason moon takes more time to reach the same spot, 29.5 days. The moon does not produce its own light. There is only one source of light in our solar system and that is the sun. Moonlight is actually just the sunlight reflected off the surface of the moon. As the moon orbits the earth, the portion of illuminated moon that we see changes, giving rise to the phases of the moon. On earth, our view of the illuminated part of the moon changes each night. When we have a full view of the completely illuminated side of the moon, that face is also called as full moon. In the video I shot recently on a full moon day, moon is seen rising in the east while sun sets in the west. When the sun and moon are aligned on the same side of the earth, the moon is new. And the side of the moon facing earth is not illuminated by sun. Eclipse is another event familiar to us. This occurs when the sun, moon and earth are aligned. Such alignment coincides with a new moon. A solar eclipse occurs when a portion of the earth is engulfed in a shadow cast by the moon. A lunar eclipse occurs when the moon moves into the earth's shadow. If orbital plane of moon and that of earth were same, there would be total solar eclipses every new moon. However, since the moon's orbit is tilted at more than 5 degrees to the earth's orbit around the sun, its shadow usually misses the earth, either it is above or below the orbital plane. Due to tilt in the orbital planes of moon and earth, Eclipses do not occur every 15 days. Let us use this small dial to help us identify various faces of moon 
एट इट रिवॉल्व अराउंड अर्थ A waxing moon is a moon that gets more sunlight on it as the days go by. It is after we experience a new moon up to a full moon. A waning moon is after the full moon and will remain waning until we again experience a new moon. as speed of rotation of moon around its own axis and the time it takes for one revolution around the earth is same we always see same side of the moon let us mark a red line here it always faces earth even if moon completes more than one revolution We celebrate Makar Sankranti every year around 14th or 15th January. On this day, sun enters from Dhanu Rashi to Makar Rashi. But what does enter a zodiac or enter Makar Rashi means? Let's find out. Sun is stationary just like many constellations around us. Been observed from the earth sun appears to be in a particular constellation in the background this keeps on changing as earth revolves around the sun when these imaginary boundaries are crossed we refer to it as sun entering a particular constellation or zodiac sign or rashi for us most of the hindu festivals are celebrated as per lunar calendar but makar sankranti is based on the transition of the sun This is why it normally comes around 14th or 15th January of a Gregorian calendar. In the next video, we will discuss about Hindu calendar which considers lunar as well as solar position while deciding months. Thank you.